What's going on everybody? Riding with Will here. Oh, guess what? Look, look, look what I got here with me. Something different. <laughs> I kind of wanted to try out the KLX with the 1350 gearing, I believe is what I have. I think the stock gearing was like 14, I don't know, 42 or something, or 44 or 46. Yeah, this so this thing right over here. So here's a good thing to we can start right now already. So I remember this thing being uh, really steep. Woo! Yeah, nothing like doing it on my uh, two-stroke. <laughs> going back down. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit scarier on this bike and it's pretty washed out. Beautiful day today also. I love it when it rains because it's not so hot. And so I'm gonna say this right here and then. This 1350 gearing, yeah, it is one of the best gearings for the KLX 250 in my opinion. See, I tested on an open road as well and I was going, you know, I was on sixth gear and it was revving pretty high at 65 miles per hour so i'm gonna say the top speed on this guy with this gearing is still 70 miles an hour but you know you're revving the crap out of it but you know if you're planning to just mostly off-road or cruise back street at 50 miles an hour you know this gearing is the one to look for i highly suggest it Alright, so this is a little bit rocky. It's going up. A little bit more technical. Not not much more technical, but relatively still an easy trail. First gear. Alright, I'm gonna wanna I wanna leave it in second gear to kind of see. See, there was a few things I was looking for. Do I have to go back to first gear if I end up slowing down just a little bit? Or do I find myself constantly looking to switch between second and thir third gear too much because the gearing is just too short for the KLX 250? The answer is neither. Seems I was able to just hang out in second gear in the climb and even slowing down still allowed me to rev it back up with some decent speed. See, on the original gearing, if I were to slow down quite a bit, I always found myself shifting from first to second gear a lot. And on the steeper longer climbs, it was impossible to be on second gear. So this was a clip of me riding my KLX 250, I would probably say maybe about like four months ago. So I definitely had stock gearing in this video. And you're gonna see me complain a little bit of how I constantly have to shift between first and second and just second is just not really moving. For second gear, full throttle, just doesn't want to go. <laughs> Dude, my second, second gear does not want to chug. So yeah, me definitely switching the gearing to 1350 made a huge difference. See there in Texas Creek, I constantly have to switch between first and second, especially if I slow down. See, after changing it to 1350 on Rainbow Falls when I was test riding, which does have steep hills, I barely even switched to the first at all. I was mostly on second and third gear, which is great. It was perfect for me. So this is like straight downhill and with this gearing, there's so much engine braking. I mean, it's not super downhill, but look how much engine braking there is. I love this forest run, man. It's it's definitely nice, but we definitely got to look for uh, steeper stuff. Yeah, this is so much better with this gearing, guys. A lot more, a lot better. I don't have to shift as much. Yeah, this low low gearing is really nice. Oh dear! <laughs> Every time I see a deer, I get so scared, thinking it's like a mountain lion or some shit. <laughs> so pretty much this thing just you have to be in the res for this thing to move guys so with this gearing you just res up a lot faster so it's nice you know 
with this gearing, I think this is the perfect combination right here. So here's where I start to, probably gonna start slowing down a lot. See right here, I got, I think I'm on third gear. I'm giving it throttle, it's still going, but it's just very slowly. <laughs> I'm giving it like full gas right now. Anyhow guys, in this section here, I would have never been able to ride this climb on third gear with the uh, stock gearing. So seeing I can still chug around in third gear with the uh, 1350 gearing is a huge difference coming from barely even riding on second, second gear in Texas Creek. But anyhow, so thanks for watching my videos and go ahead and subscribe to see more. Leave a comment and don't forget to like, it really helps my channel out. And I hope to see you guys in my other video.